Look at this. Now, how is this for a holy grail of television comedy? Lucy Ricardo's blue polka dot dress is up for auction right now. Uh, it's at propstoreauction.com. You might want to check it out online. I'm not giving plugs here, but this is the real deal. This was uh, from the collection of costume designer Alois Jensen. And uh, if you look at it, you'll see the scooped neckline. Uh, Alois was very resourceful in working with Lucy and what her needs were because Lucy had to sometimes on shows make quick costume changes. So the scooped neck was intentional so Lucy would not mess up her makeup or hair. Uh, she would, uh, you can probably see she wore a little dicky underneath the scooped neck. And it makes me now want to look at some of her other dresses to see if uh, Lois incorporated similar little uh, things like that. I know like when Lucy would wear pants on the show, she had uh, straps built into the bottom. So the, the pants cuffs, so they would, uh, she could attach them to her feet and her pants would not get wrinkled or move when she would be doing a lot of her comedic stunt work and so forth on the show. Um, a Lois, I've met a Lois, by the way, and she, um, dear lady. And I also talked to Lucy's hairdresser once who uh, told me that uh, Lucy, you know, it's well known that Lucy wore wigs uh, pretty much from the late 50s onward on the show. Uh, mostly that was because she was wearing little adhesive lifts under her face and the wig would cover that up. But um, yeah, Irma Cusley was her hairdresser, and Irma told me it was also because Lucy had to do so many things and some, you know, exasperating stunts where she would get sweaty, disheveled. So when her hair would get messed up, it was just as simple as pulling it off and putting another one on so that Lucy was taken care of so she could give us her beautiful comedy. Please like and subscribe my channel, Chuck's Captivating Chronicles.